What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're doing well today. So today I have a very short and quick tutorial for you. Um, this is going to be replacing the UI uh, overlay that you see in MX Bikes in the homepage. Now we're going to start off by going to this link right here, which will be at the top of the description. And uh, we've got two options here. So we've got option A, which is a slightly different version to what we usually have, where it's uh, separated out the bike um, from the rest of the gear and such. And you've got the uh, the bike's logo at the top left, depending on which uh, which brand or manufacturer you're using. And then the second one we've got here as well is it's split out a little bit more. So it's got the bike separated from the helmet and goggles, separated from the kit and the boots. And then finally with the uh, protections on the end. Now both of these are in exactly the same way. The one I'm going to be using is this uh, bottom one here, this V2 one. I just think it looks better. So first of all, we are going to scroll down and I want V2 grouped. If you want the top one, then do V1.1 modern. And we're going to go to Mega NZ and download this. And uh, whilst this is downloading, it should literally take a second. It's a very, very small file. Um, thank you to Insane for uh, releasing this for us. It's it's nice getting little personal touches like this on, on this game. You don't see it very often. So uh, big, big thank you to him. And uh, Please do support him if you if you have a, a spare few pennies laying around. Um, so this is all loaded up fine. So what we're going to do, this is where some of you might uh, might get lost usually. So um, usually when you're downloading mods for bikes, you put them in your documents with also MX Fights folder. However, slightly different this time, we're going to go to our Steam folder and then to our Steam apps and then Common and MX Bikes. Now, all we do is we're going to drag this file into here and it's going to replace this UI PKZ file right here. So we don't need to open that up, we just drag the whole thing over, pop that in there, and then we are good to go. We close that, we close that, and let me load up MX Bytes quickly. So this is what it looks like by default. Ignore my gear right here, you're getting a little sneak peek at an upcoming video. However, if I uh, tab out, close bikes, and wait for this to go a second here, I, I should probably edit this little bit out in the middle, but you know me, I'm a, I'm a little bit lazy. And we open up bikes again, give it about five seconds or so, and we go to bike and there you go it's all all, all split out and separated in here um we've got our, our bike up the top with the little suzuki logo which looks really nice i like these little icons insane's added as well on the side um we've then got our helmet paints and goggle paints uh, and then followed up by the uh, the gear and the boots and the protections at the bottom so i hope you enjoyed the video nice and short tutorial in case anybody's interested um and yeah lot to drop a like if you found it helpful leave a comment subscribe all that good stuff and until i catch you guys in the next video peace my tent way too damn dark laugh in your face like man dark came a long way from the bad days way back had to burn down that landmark seen some things i didn't really want to see it's all good that's what made me me now who would i be if i had it easy used to break down now i'm in a 350 like whoa i've been laying way too low had to switch up and change my flow because i'm back from the block and a bustle rocks and dust off the dust and get back in the box now why you